Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Trey, and Lord have mercy, here I go. I'm doing it again. No, seriously, y'all gonna go down to the Cash App link, and y'all gonna put some money down because this is getting ridiculous. I am torturing myself for you guys. I am literally doing all I can for this run, but this run is middling at best. Honestly, I don't understand why it's not canceled. Uh, I I really don't understand why this book why this book is in, is not canceled. This this is horseshit. <laughs> like I'm so sick of this damn book. I I really am. I I'm re I really am. Um, but I do it for you guys. Um, so you guys can have somebody to go through the torture. But what? Williams is getting on my nerves. Leah Williams, yeah, Leah Williams. I, I mean, you you are you are working the last of my nerves. Now we got a filler issue about Power Girl going on a date with Axel, who's as guardian, which doesn't make any damn logical sense because the Norse mythology. Real, I mean, it, it's it has been set up in the DC universe, but not like Marvel. And honestly, I feel like. This story would have worked if this was a Thor run, maybe, because you can kind of justify some of the things that happen in this in this book where I mean a character would date somebody from Asgard because we've seen the Asgardians interact with Earth multiple times. This shit right here, this don't make no sense. This this shit just randomly coming out of nowhere just for the hell of it. And I, I just don't understand what am I supposed to be you know, looking at, I mean, reading, honestly, so, if you guys don't know, last issue, um, Karen, aka Dr. Paige Heller, because she created that, that for no reason, um, she got fired from, by Lois, because Lois feel like she's not committed to the, the column, um, but she want her to do um, field work or something like that she was saying um, then all of a sudden then um, Axel remind, um, you know because the whole House of Brainiac event happened um, they confirmed their date or whatever she's nervous about her date acting like she's never been on a date before which is kind of weird because it's, it, it, once again it's just Leah Williams inability to understand who Karen Starr is um and understanding like this character is a matured supergirl like if you want to write this write this shit for supergirl this isn't a supergirl comic book it's a power girl comic book power girl supergirl completely different yes power girl is the older mature version of supergirl so treat her like that why is she acting like some goddamn teenage girl who just now getting on earth. It doesn't make logical sense. This isn't Supergirl. If you were doing this for Supergirl, maybe I can let you get away with this shit. But this is Power Girl we're talking about. And you're just throwing some bullshit on bullshit. Why, first off, look, we done had this discussion before. Norse mythology is Scandin Scandinavian, right? So why is there diverse people? Why is, why when, when we see a little bit of Asgard, why is there diverse people here? I, I, I'm sorry, what, what brown folks you know in, in Norse mythology? You know what I'm saying? I'm just, being, I'm just being honest. Like, let's cut the bullshit for real. Like, enough of the whole trying to do diversity and inclusion crap when it doesn't make sense to the story. I mean, to the to the myths, you know, if I'm going to do North mythology, let's let's try to stay on track. It was jarring in God of War Ragnarok. It's jarring in um, the MCU Thor movies. And now here you go again. Axel is from Asgard. Why? And then if you're going to set up Asgard, wouldn't it make sense for Asgard um, for it to be? Um, shouldn't it make sense that her issue or a villain or whatever should be coming from Asgard more so than anything else. 
Like you never even, you didn't even set up Asgard. You didn't set up the North mythology. Like at least if you're going to do some shit like this, at least make sense. Like, oh, cause now she's in Valhalla. You know what I mean? Cause she, cause Axel was able to transport them to um, Valhalla um, to show him like, Hey, no, I'm not this, I'm not this crazy spy or whatever that you're, that you're thinking I am. You know what I mean? And I'm just like, Oh, okay. This is, this is awkward. This is weird. You know? And I like, I don't understand what, why are we doing this random nonsense? Like we already wasted an issue with her worried about the date going on the date while there's a villain in the back, but still too, Natasha takes care of that while Power Girl and Axel argue over each other's secret. Then they come to Valhalla and it's literally the same thing. Oh, his cousin, his cousin wants to see him when he get because um they get there. She's like, Oh my god, wow, um it's it's Asgard. I'm, yeah, I'm from Asgard. And he goes and visits his cousin, his cousin flirts with her. Um and she's she was like she was like what's going on? He's like oh it's the it's the what was he what he call it? Um, he has said it is the battle of valor. Every day the warriors of Valhalla fight and die. Every morning they are reborn, valor, and repeat the cycle. And Power Girl decides to join in, um, fight a little bit. They go and eat a little bit and. Um, her and Axel have a little date, run through a little bit of Asgard. They make out for a little bit. Um, he takes her to, he takes her to this upside down pyramid thing <laughs> is where he's like collecting lost Asgardian, um, things around the world. So that's what he was doing when he was trying to get her to, um, join him. Is because Power Girl had an Asgardian um, artifact that he's been looking for, and he wanted to work with her and you know try to get that um, artifact back as well. Um, and then he was talking about how you know he became attracted to her when he saw her. They enter side. What was they call it? Um, it's called the Channel House of God Thought. <laughs> so. Axel and Power Girl go inside. They see birds that are made out of um, book scriptures or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, that are made out of book scriptures. They, um, you know, Axel introduced them. They talk about like, hey, how all of these artifacts from Asgard over time been lost, and it was up to him to get all that artifacts back and study them as well and you know um power girl is just like oh okay this is really fascinating and he was basically saying like this can show you anything that you want and he was like ask ask the tree whatever you wanted and then she was like show me omen and he shows omen and omen is like depressed at a party and something has omen crying or whatever and they were like oh no omen and then that's how the book ends but i don't care i i don't care that's the thing leo what the hell are you doing you, you you didn't set none of this shit up at least if you're gonna if you're gonna have omen go through something or whatever at least start showing the um showing it throughout the comic book issue all you did was show Power Girl and Axel make out and have have a little date night on Valhalla. You know what I mean? You're it's it's not interesting because you never set up Axel. Most of most of the time in the comic book, he was gone. And then when you did show him, he was sneaking around instead of actually, you know what I'm saying? It feel like originally he was supposed to be some kind of villain and you just said fuck it. And, and it, honestly, it feels like you said fuck it to the original premise of this damn story too. Like, what the hell? What the hell is the the point of this damn book? Honestly, y'all y'all clearly don't understand who Power Girl is. 
You don't understand what's what's going on. Like I thought, we, the reason why Power Girl was chosen by Superman to go down to wherever is because there were artifacts or vibrations from her parallel Earth affecting some of the people. Yeah, okay, sure. That would make sense to send Power Girl down there to investigate because she would probably understand Earth 2 technology and science or whatever more so than Superman would himself. And then you just kind of lost the plot from there. You just kind of gave up on that bullshit. And now this book is just mentally. What the hell are we doing right now with this book? What am I doing? Reading this shit. Seriously. It it don't make sense. Then you then you what? You debut you, well you didn't really debut anything. You put you have a cover where she has her cape on and an axe. Again, what the fuck are we doing with these covers that has absolutely nothing to do with the cover or the story? Leah, what are you doing? Who are, who are you writing this shit for? Because as a person who likes Power Girl <laughs> and knows her history, what have you done? Like, get this shit together. I'm so serious. I'm so serious, Leah. This shit is awful. Yo ass need to get fired or something. Or DC, wrap this book up. Wrap this shit up. Seriously. This this is some this some bullshit. For real. Like, what are we doing? We already had two. We, no, we had three fucking fillers already. What is it gonna take for you to actually get back on story? Because I don't see anything interesting going on. You didn't set shit up with Axel. You didn't set shit up with this Omen bullshit that's about to happen. You didn't set nothing up. Then you forgot about the Earth 2 shit that, that you showed up in um issue 1 and 2. What the fuck? It's, it's crazy. It's like you're trying to write Supergirl, but they wouldn't let you have Supergirl, so they gave you Power Girl. And said, fuck all. Editors at DC, what the hell are y'all doing? This shit doesn't make sense. Do you not know who the fuck Power Girl is? Why would people get into this shit? If y'all can't even keep the character correctly or do the bare minimum, why every day I got why every time I'm reviewing these books? I have to remind y'all about the history of y'all own damn characters. And then I get people in the comments section was like, oh, I didn't even realize that happened. Or didn't know. Yeah, of course, because DC keep fucking rebooting the continuity every fucking five years. And there's no point in being invested. There's no point in being invested in, in Power Girl if y'all can't even do her, her characterization correctly. It makes no damn sense. There's a reason why she was spared after um, Crisis on Infinite Earth. Because she was interesting. Jesus Christ. I don't know. I, I, I'm just over it. I'm over it. I'm over the book. I'm over it. I'm over the book. Um, yeah. Power Girl. Um, twelve Issue 12. Valhalla Dating. Or Valhalla Lovers. I don't know what the fuck book called. I honestly I don't care. I really don't because Ugh. I know I just went I, I went on tangent to just to, but mm, like I said, the Power Girl support is the the Cash App is there definitely there. Um Cash App me. Don't 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 sit up there and say you ain't got it. It is literally like a dollar or five dollars. That's all I'm saying. I deserve that for going and buying the book that's for five dollars anyway so this will be nice to to receive some recovery and, and i don't want to hear nobody saying they ain't got it <laughs> because you guys got it a dollar between a dollar and five dollars that ain't much to to help me recover from the thought of buying this shit but yeah 
<sighs> I'm, I'm signing off. <laughs>